So good morning. It is Saturday, people. It is the weekend. We are six days away from the Premier League starting. And Don Edu, as everyone was calling him, Don Edu is on about his fifth holiday in eight weeks. Well, I'm, mate, he's now in Mallorca. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, but Lee, he can work remotely. He doesn't have to be in front of an agent to speak to him. Mate, get your deals done and then go on holiday for the rest of the time you want, mate. Yeah, get the business done. Anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who is. This channel is flying at the moment, so thank you. And make sure you stick a like on this video. And also, the vlog is dropping tonight. I'm off down the beach after I record these videos. So the vlog will be dropping. I'm taking my little mini-me with me and her mum. We're going to go to the beach for the day. <coughs> Excuse me. So make sure you subscribe to Morley Gunner. Link in the description. And uh, let's talk about Bernardo Silva, because obviously Man City have just signed Jack Grealish, £100 million. Jesus Christ, what would it be like to have players coming in at £100 million? I bet Man City fans are loving life. But that means Bernardo Silva is surplus to requirements, and apparently he wants to leave anyway. But this is where we have an issue. We're chasing after James Madison, and um, apparently, this is see, this is where I laugh with these stories, right? Apparently, we've got him on the back burner. And if James Madison deal falls through, Bernardo Silva's the man. Yay! Like, come on. Why would Bernardo Silva want to come to Arsenal, number one? Number two, the price is cheaper than buying Madison. So why would we have him on the back burner? Like, it makes no sense. Whoever writes these articles, man, seriously, fix yourselves up. At least make them sound believable. Like, come on. It's, it's actually hilarious to, to read some of this crap. Like, I've just seen one, um, just seen a headline a minute ago. Listen to this crap. This is the kind of rubbish we're dealing with in um, in the Arsenal fan um, media circles. Here we go. Arsenal's fourth summer transfer announcement could be imminent after what Edu did on Instagram. He posted a selfie with his wife in Mallorca. Right. But people are click on that. Football London, I'm telling you, I'm going to cuss them every day gutter press worse than the sun newspaper people I i'm not clicking on it i refuse but i guarantee if i clicked on it it's edu selfie that they've attached via his instagram on his story that is in mallorca yeah but people are clicking that thinking oh my god arsenal are about to drop another sign in then you'll read a whole load of bullshit all the way down and then it'd be now edu did blah 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 get in the bin man like these are the people that are manipulating football fans all over the world because they're making out that we're linked to Bernardo Silva and we want Bernardo Silva. We don't. Yeah, Bernardo ain't ever coming to us. Yeah, that ain't ever happening. No matter how much he might be friends with Arteta, uh, no matter how much pull Arteta has, yeah, the only thing he's pulling is himself off every night thinking, Jesus, I've still got a job. Like, come on, it's mad. We're not getting Bernardo Silva. It's embarrassing. Like, at the end of the day, we should be in for players like Bernardo because they're top-class players. Yeah, and I'm surprised he even wants to leave Man City, if I'm honest, because every time I watch him play, I, I think he's a joy to watch. I think he's really good footballer, man. And um, it just makes it look elegant and easy, like left foot, right foot, spins around, um, ducks in between the lines. He scores goals. He creates goals. Top, top-class footballer. So we should be all over Bernardo Silva but we're not and I don't even think that we're going to sign Madison at this point like I said yesterday we're literally a week away yesterday less than a week now until the season starts if we sign M Madison he's got to come into pre-season with us learn about his teammates get up to speed with what Arteta wants and uh, the philosophy and the process and the structure all the buzzwords that he thrown out, weren't they, um, of the football club. He's then got to try and get into the team. And then that would probably be around October that he'll start getting properly up to full fitness. Same with Bernardo, I suppose. And this is this is what really infuriates me, is that we've wasted nearly nine weeks to sign Ben White, Tavares and Laconga. Where are the rest of the players? Why has nobody left, more importantly? Why has nobody left this football club? It's an absolute shambles. So, yeah, all the super fans, all the top reds, they'll be sitting there saying, we're going to get Bernardo, we're going to get Bernardo. Uh, let's put a bit of realism on it because that's how we do it on this channel. We say it as it is. 
Uh, we don't live in pipe dreams of signing Messi and signing Bernardo because our football club's in the gutter. Yeah, and the quicker people realise that, the better. Uh, maybe that'll start helping us go back up if people realised it, rather than pretending we can sign Messi or pretending we're linked to Bernardo. We're not linked to Bernardo Silva. Yeah, I do not believe that story one bit. Yeah, it's only my opinion. You might believe it. But at the end of the day, I'd love him to sign for Arsenal. We ain't shopping for Bernardo Silva because I think um, I think he'd probably be more likely to go abroad than stay in the Premier League. And I don't think that's just for Arsenal. I think that's for any other team in the Premier League. I think that he's probably probably going to go Spain or somewhere like that. You know, and let's be real, he's Portuguese. Spain's around the corner. He could go to Barca. He could go to Madrid comfortably and get in their teams. So why would he ever even entertain the idea of looking at Arsenal? We're like, come on, we're not that team. We're not that club anymore. We're not the the top echelons of the table and football uh, history now. That's all we are, football history. Yeah, it's um, it's all vibes and the get-along gang. Like, oh, we've got to all get along. Oh, stop being so negative. Oh, you're all negative. You're negative. Give it time. Process. What a load of cobblers. Arsenal fans have got to be the most spineless fans. I swear. It's just it's so sad to see it. And we should genuinely be looking at Madison and Bernardo. Yeah, we should be able to buy both. That's why we moved to this stadium. You know, and then you've got the same group of merry men putting out the same generic bullshit stories every week. Like, come on, man. Start doing some proper journalism. Start doing some proper reporting. Ask... Ask Arteta um, why Edu's on holiday again after we haven't signed anyone. Why have why has Edu gone on holiday when we ain't sold anybody? More importantly, we have not got a single penny into this football club from player sales, and the season starts in six days. <coughs> For me, that's more important than getting players out and getting players in, because otherwise we're going to start the season with that fashion Easter at right back, mincing down the right wing. We're going to start with Elneny in midfield. We're going to start with Callum Chambers in the team somewhere. It's just going to be an absolute banter season, trust me. So, yeah, real, realism. We ain't signing Bernardo Silva. We probably won't sign Madison. We'll probably end up with Martin Odegaard on loan. And, uh, yeah. And Tammy Abraham as well. He's linked to Atalanta today. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with that one as well. Anyway, make sure you smack the likes up. Let me know what you think of Bernardo Silva. Um, obviously, I'd imagine most of you rate him, but do you think we do have a chance to sign him? Do you believe the story when we're linked to him? Or like me, do you just think it's a load of cobblers and you're sick and tired of the transfer window now and just want it to slam shut? The transfer window slam shut. They have to make it all dramatic, don't they? Uh, at the end of the day, our transfer window creaks open every summer and then slam shut real quick. <laughs> Get a couple of signings in and it's game over. We're finished for the day. No more transfers. See you later. Ed who's on his fifth holiday. Absolute wasters. But anyway, um, all have a wonderful day. I'll be back again at 5 p.m. Um, we're going to talk about Lataro Martinez again. Um, so, yeah, Fabrizio Romano spoken about him. And um, I'll be back at 5 with that. I'll also be back at 10 o'clock. But make sure you check out the vlog tonight on Morley Gunner. Let's get that channel up to 5K. It's about 200 odd away. 5K. Well, that's 10. 5K. Anyway, have a wonderful day. We're out of here. I'll tether out. Oh, and Edu, you can fuck off as well.